Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. As you see, there are new buildings popping up, and it's way past Christmas time. So what I'm gonna do is take down the reindeer and tell you what is going on with the server. So I don't know if you've been watching the other people's videos, which you should be doing. Mr. Craft has um, added some new members and those members have been working very hard, making some great videos and content. Um, doing better than me with that. Now oh, check my recipe book, okay. Actually, this is the first wool I've had on this server. <laughs> That's kind of sad. But anyways, uh, some of the members you probably know. Um, I've heard of a bunch of them. We got the note block. Ooh, I love note blocks. Come on, give me. But anyways, the new guys are Lord Rip, one Rip, Bendo, Bendo Mion, um, Fox, Ninja Zanza, the Kitty Cat, and Proto's Vault. I'll always call him the Kitty Cat, by the way. That's a little inside joke. Proto's Vault. Uh, Queen Baxis or Vold. I'm not 100% sure how to say that, but um, he's in Jan's community along with me, the Pillow Fort. This is an awesome community. You should go check that out one of these days. Look at that. Um, also, that seems like everybody. So, um, you remember in the Garden Bunny, the awesome person who has made some incredible builds on here um, she has that lake with the rose in it let's go check it out where I need to see something tall there we go there it is and uh, she has added to it because of the new people and as you see everybody's got little reindeer that's a tall bunny thing er, ouchies my butt hit the cactus so oh, we got the Lord Rip one the new name Garden Bunny, old name. Tombot, old name. Archangel, old name. Jam Doggy, awesome old name. Proto's Vault, new name. Kaiseri, the old name. Family Craft Dad, no. What? Um, family has two L's. Wait, I've never noticed that before. I th ooh, I don't know if that's supposed to be there like that. Bendo Mion, I just call him Bendo. <laughs> Accountant. Poing Vaxis. I'm not even 100% sure how to pronounce that, but Vold. And Foxtail 3. Kinda googly. Tall Bunny. Ninja Zanza's new. Minnows. Old. Family Craft Mom. And let's see what's down here. Lazy Minecraft and me. Those are the new people and some of the old people. Go down below and follow them. All their links are in the description. But it should be fun making these uh, videos with them. The last video I had made, you noticed I needed bone blocks. So this video, we are going to make a... Come on. Oh, jeez, my feet. Yeah. We're going to make a... Bone farm, so to say. Uh, silk touch? Yeah, silk touch. And it's gonna be the design that Nembom has made. I think, um, a few people, including, I think, Mumbo made this on the latest, um, Hermitcraft, uh, server, or season, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if it's the same exact one because I haven't had the time to even watch the Hermitcraft videos lately. And it's just really sad on my side because I love watching Minecraft videos, but I haven't watched really any other than uh, videos of people on the servers that I'm on. And, um, nice, I get all of this good stuff. So I'm not 100% sure if it's the same one that Mumbo made, but it looks a lot like it. So, so I'm gonna go and find a place to uh, put this down and during the stream and I'm going to start building it. All right, it's starting to come into view what I did in the last stream. And as you see, we have this platform and some water. 
and some observers and other stuff. So basically that's going to be the roof. And I'm standing on the lowest platform. Every level like right there and right there and right there and right there and right there right there right there right there is going to be one of these um, little platforms. And it's going to be underneath this huge roof to make it nice and dark. So when you uh, AFK, which is going to be way up above everything else up there. It's high enough off the ground, so the things will die when they land here. But I'm thinking of... I was thinking of lowering this, but this, that would hurt the efficiency of the farm, uh, according to Nembom, the design that this is based on. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. The problem is, is that some of the mobs, they form with um, feather falling shoes on, and with this 20... Or I don't know exactly how high this drop is. They, they can survive. But basically, my um, idea with this is my next stream, I'm going to build the rest of this, maybe make a time lapse of it so you guys can see the building of it, and then get it going so mobs will form and die while I'm working on other stuff around here. Because underneath, I'm going to have to do a pretty big storage system down here because I'm gonna add other farms to this and also my first AFK I want to get a couple of villagers in here um, and to do that I'm gonna have to capture a couple of villager zombies I guess and uh, capture them and switch them over but I'm gonna get to work and if you want to see me work on the grindy stuff in Minecraft Go and follow me on KMA's Corner Twitch, twitch.tv KMA's Corner, and then you'll get the grindy stuff, the stuff I like to do the most, the stuff that relaxes me in Minecraft, and you can watch things like this being built. So, let's get on with the time lapse. But here's, here's the thingy majiggy, and um, you see the different layers, and we can, you know, have little people like spawning on here. Um, and I'm not completely done with the thing. I gotta do a couple of things uh, real quick. So, what we got is, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Un, do, three, so we got 12 going in each direction, like that. And they're all on four. Uh, oh, oh, don't hit your head. I don't want to hit my head on that. All right, so now that the derpiness is over, we can cut that, we cut that, and we got this. And where's my Leva? And that should send the things of a flying and we should get some things a fallen oh come on so not bad um 
As you see, I'm gonna need some chests. There's no chests in here. Uh, where, where did they all go? They all go right here. Yeah, so I mean, uh, yeah, 10 seconds or so and we got that much. So um, the next step is going to, let me get out of here. Find an area to go up um, to use as a way to get up there. Um, kinda, I don't know if I wanna do something nice or not. I think I'm just gonna pillar up right here. Need to go to 192. Hey, I am back. Spawn is over there. The spawn portal's over here. And you take a left out of the spawn portal and come down here like 100 blocks or so. You have this new area. And I created last night in stream. It was a very interesting stream, by the way. It was, um, yeah, it was not the best of streams. I had all sorts of technical difficulties, but that's what's cool about streaming is because it's live. Things happen. And I even have a uh, golden axe just because I did not have anything worthy to make uh, an axe out of so I can get this wood and I'm gonna have to put a um, a torch a lever on top of there all right jeez you know what I'm talking about lighten up the other side but this is the way to get to um, my farm now a uh, uh, gravity farm I guess you could call it so when you come out, um, it's big enough for horses, and down there is the farm itself. And uh, I'm going to throw on my elytra real quick, put some food on me, oops, put that in there, and um, go down and check out to see if it's empty. And I'm going to go AFK for the day. I did put it on, okay, yes. I just want to make sure that this thing is empty or close to it. But that's not the way to do it. it goes down to the bottom all right so it was kind of close to it so let's go to the top and we're gonna go afk and guess what i don't have any rockets on me so that is why i made this ugly little pillar here now you gotta think of what a way to cover this up to make it look better but basically i'm gonna go to work right now and i'm gonna be gone at work for what five six seven eight seven eight hours and i am gonna see what has come out of uh, AFKing here, and I will show you guys in, um, in the video because everything is basically done now and everything seems good. So we're just waiting for me to get to the top of the ladder. So part of the reason why last night's stream was a little weird is because I was initially going to make a storage system underneath this thing to store all the goodies and stuff, but um, I'm not too sure I want to do it underneath there, because this is the AFK point, don't we want the stuff to come up here? But that is something I'm going to think about, but for those who might want to know, stand here, uh, stand on this, that redstone lamp and AFK here, and you we'll get the product so let me see what seven or eight hours of this will do for me well i've waited the eight hours from when i went to work to see how this farm was doing and it ended up i got sick at work and i came home when i went to sleep so that eight hours actually turned into 18 hours so um needless to say i filled up the three chests downstairs um let me show you when i came down here um <laughs> let's go down when I came down here, initially, uh, there was stuff all over the place on top of here. And actually, that was the very first piece I've seen on the edge here. And um, the reason why was because all these chests were filled to the top with this stuff. Um, yeah, so in 24 hours, I do not think... I think I would have been able to fill up both <laughs> each one of these chests uh, twice as much than I did. So right here is where you stand for the farm. And what I was thinking is um, the initial plans for this farm was having one area where I can AFK for multiple farms at the same time and um, collect a whole bunch of different products from different types of uh, materials in Minecraft, inclu including like villager farms where they can farm their own carrots and wheats and stuff, uh, iron farm most likely, and other things that I would add, uh, sugarcane farms, all the, all the little small farms that people need, melon farms, even the um, nether wart farms. 
Um, and I'm going to be able to do all those with my butt right on this particular block here, hopefully. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to tunnel all this material to, if it's going to be coming up here or not. But um, seeing that this is going to be a place for lots of sitting around and doing nothing, I thought I could like double up my work a little bit. Um, I was thinking of adding two super smelters here. So when I come here, I can smelt stuff and just sit around and get the stuff smelted real quick and um, do it. So yeah, I'm going to look at uh, super smelter designs or maybe even come up with one of my own. And uh, most likely I'm going to do Il Mango's one because I, I think it's the best one to do in my situation. Uh, so uh, let's get to some work and look up what I'm going to do and uh, I'll show you what's happening when it's done. I need to make some glass. Uh, I need to burn a lot of sand and make it into glass because I got to make the tunnel shoot down there because, um, you know, they just keep the mobs inside that area when they're falling out. And, you know, glass is one of my favorite building materials. So, yeah, why not, right? I am back. I decided to go with the Il Mango setup for the smeltery. I did not record a time lapse because um, doing Il Mango, it's not something you just memorize. You have to kind of follow a tutorial. So Il Mango time lapses do not go together because it's basically you place a couple of blocks, look at the tutorial, place a couple of blocks, look at the tutorial, place a couple of blocks. But this um, thing is pretty awesome. Let's take a look. There it is. It's the Super Smelter from Il Mango. It's 120 something hoppers in it. I, I've used up my iron. Um, so I kind of had to redesign this a little bit because I'm going to make this the platform area and I have decided I am going to move the stuff from down there up here and make this area the big storage area. Again, this is where you're supposed to stand when you're AFK. You can throw your junk into there so you don't have to worry about um if you die that you know you'll have stuff left over so let's see how this thing works so it's it's pretty self-explanatory you put the coal over here which it is loaded with coal right now it automatically adds it to the bottom and we'll put in the input and take a look it should turn on pretty relatively uh together the left side will turn on first after a couple of ticks, the right side should turn on. There we go. And, um, yeah, it, it brings all the pieces of netherrack to where it needs to be. It fills it up one at a time. And the output chest is right here. And you can see how fast that works. I mean, that's fast enough for me. I, ca I can't think of any reason for faster. The only thing I'm going to change is that right now I have it set up for coal, but I think I'm going to bring some bone meal up here and put a little area so I can grow trees and we're going to change it to wood. So if you need to use this, I'll have a place to grow a tree. I'll probably leave an axe up here just in case because not everybody carries axes with them. You can chop down the tree and then use the wood as coal to cook everything up as you saw you can't really beat the output of this i mean it's pretty crazy the speed that it's going That is going to be it for today. Uh, we've done a couple of things of awesomeness, specifically that down there and the super smelter. And now uh, I got a few ideas for this place. And somehow I'm going to bring up an item elevator and storage system up here. I don't know exactly where yet, but we're going to figure it out in the next couple of weeks. It should be fun. So stick around. I'll see you around. Goodbye.